Love well, that first forehand really had Sviatek on the defensive. And they both kind of have a similar forehand in the sense that they... Sent 6-3 six six over Matty Brengel yesterday. Actually down a break in the second for winning 10 straight points. Out. 30 left. Applying a lot of uh, are really coming through the court very, very deep and an unforced for both of them. Quality there as well. Good. And another good one. Set up the point. Yeah, it's again the, the depth. Right on the line, probably the back edge of it as well. And with that double comes a set point. Back to back doubles. And it means that Iga Sviantek has to. Just unplayable, really. Beaten by Simona Halep in that encounter. Oh, one of the backhands she had just from Shriatek was just so good as she was on the stretch. I'm not sure which one you like best. <laughs> Got away with it after that return. The floater return somehow stayed in court. Three straight break points now for Sviantek. First time she's had to contend with that golf in this match. Yep, she's broken to love. Out. Just had to, has to somehow try and stay close. Wells. She had to really battle through in the early rounds. She had to come from a set down three straight times. And she said she really took heart in that because in past seasons, after she dropped the first set, she found it difficult to come back in those situations because we know when she's won titles in the past, she's just completely gone through the field, not dropping many games, including at the French Open when she won that title. Finding ways to get through some difficult ones. He's on a run now. Consolidates with a hold to love. And looking like a very good scoreline in this second set. Now and in this match for Iga Sviantek, she leads by a set and 4-1.
It's Shantek stepping on the gas. You mean a real car, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Not one. So she said she hadn't got it. She was going to get it, she said, before the European swing. She actually said it's more for her, her dad because uh, her dad was the one doing all the driving. So dad says, okay, your turn now. Yeah, well, right now, there's one player who's doing all the driving. It's definitely Shontek and uh, keeps at it. Now, two take. Yeah, 11 in a row. Scary. Had the options as she had wrong footed golf previously with the backhand. It's becoming a festival Schwantek out there. Run continues for Shiontek. Now, Wontek, Daria Abramovitz. Out. And she was saying uh, before her first match when she knew that had the chance to get to number one, she was saying, oh, these thoughts are going to come into your head. She would limit. Maybe the possibility of feeling the pressure was it on social media as much, she said, Spiontek. Oh, finally stops the bleeding here. Spiontek being won 99% of the points in the last two and a half games, so it's been rough. Should I say three and a half games? Floating forehand doesn't accelerate enough. The racket hit at impact. Wow. Near her. <gasps> Hammers that forehand to bring up two match points. Into the Greek, stretches even further. A nice exchange between the two of them, but it is Sviantek who prevails to reach the last eight. Indeed, six on claim at the French Open. Foot placement, such a wide base to be able to drive yeah, up yeah. off the ground. Yeah, it's a brilliant. Mm -hmm. 